Hey folks, Fred in the shop again today. Um, so this episode is gonna be focused on uh, how I'm gonna change the rear frame geometry uh, in the Willys build here. So a um, couple goals I have is number one, I've gotta, I've gotta extend the frame back and then also I wanna tuck it up farther, closer to the, to the Willys truck bed. Um, and so, uh, what I've done here is before I lifted the body back off and I'll kind of show you what I got going on here um, I, uh, I just mocked up the uh, the trailer hitch um, uh, That I'm going to put on this this is basically uh, off of a TJ So it's designed to to mount on this frame So the width of these ears here are exactly the same width the frames gonna be and then it bolts kind of to the bottom under the bottom and on the sides and so Basically, I'm just going to weld all this on once I get it extended out. So I just kind of mocked it up to see where I wanted it to fall under the back of the truck here, under the, under the, whatever this is, roll pan or whatever you call that. Um, and I know it looks a little bit crooked now, but when the, when the body was sitting on the chassis, it was all, it was all level. Um, so the other thing that I did based on kind of where this cross member is here, um, I don't, I don't want to come up too far to cut into the frame here because I don't want to get into this where these shocks mount. I'm going to replace this this portion here. Ultimately, I'm going to cut this out and probably weld another piece in here and just pick up these two shock mounts um, and just get rid of this rusty piece of garbage that's that's in here. I'll just put a piece of rectangular tubing across there and then again just pick up these two little these two little brackets. Um, but I've just, you know, right past that, I just scribed a line um, and then I took a, a bullet level and just kind of put it right across here um, and kind of projected back to where this was sitting once it was, you know, up under the back of the truck. Um, and so I know that's kind of where I wanted to make the turn. And so then I came farther down where it starts to turn and get flat again right here um, and then made a second cut so I'm going to basically move this section up here and rejoin it here so I'm going to take about a I don't know this is about a four and a half five inch section out on either side I'm going to bring this up uh, I'm probably going to put a small sleeve in here butt weld it and then put fish plates on the inside and the outside of both of these um, you know where I'm going to extend it farther here and then this this union up here so to bring it farther back, so that now this is going to end, you know, about right here. So then I've got to bring it on back uh, a good bit. So I've got another section of the frame that I bought uh, that I'm going to use because it's all the same dimensions. I'm going to cut this part off, uh, this kind of stamped metal piece off. It's all, you know, kind of rusty and beat up anyway. So I'm going to cut all this off, freshen up the ends here and then put this, the other section to extend it on out. Uh, again, butt weld it, fish plate here, and then ultimately weld this to that segment that's coming on out. So then that's gonna be my rear support, kind of cross member, if you will. And then that'll allow me to pick up these, you can see that, these the, the uh, back two body mounts on either side. So there's these are the most rear body mounts, and then these are the ones um, that are um, the next one's forward. So there's four more body mounts in here. So I'll, again, just kind of build the perches, kind of like I've done here. Um, these perches, or whatever I need to do to, uh, to pick this one up. And I think the frame is going to end up being, it's going to end up ending about right here, um, roughly. And then I'll just be able to it's going to be pretty close to this this cross support in the very back, so I'll just hopefully just be able to take one of those polyurethane bushings and just put it right in there and bolt that bolt that in the back. All right, so we're going to get uh, the the lines marked all the way around here, get the saws all out, and um, and get this cut. Okay, I got the back section cut off as you can see here, and. So the, now you can see kind of the section I'm going to take out. It's going to be removed. On both sides here. So we'll get these sections taken out. 
All right, I got this back section uh, cut off. I've got the two small pieces cut off as well, as you can see on either side here. And uh, like I said, that's about um, four, four and a half, four, four and a half inches or so. So now I'm going to take this part and it's going to join up with this on both sides. So it's going to come flat again, but it's higher up. So I'm going to tack these in place once I get them all kind of lined up, squared up, tack these in place. Um, since they're both still kind of held together by this, and then once I get them tacked on, I'm going to cut this stamp piece off and then uh, take portions from my other TJ frame <clears throat> and extend it out. So I'll drop the body back on at that point, figure out how long they need to be, how far I need to extend them out here, cut those sections and join them in here again. Um, and then that part will be done. So that's going to allow me to... I mean, it'll be back, back, back like this, something like that. Hopefully, it's going to allow me to put a larger fuel cell in here and tuck it up closer to the truck. Um, and then ultimately, back here, um, I'll weld the, uh, the receiver, the receiver tube in that I've got. So that's going to kind of connect it to the back. All right, so we'll get started on that. Okay, real quick, I've got this uh, basically just tacked on all four corners here on both sides. Um, and so I just chamfered the edges of the metal there. So when you butt weld, you know, your weld will lay down in there, uh, which will be a stronger butt weld. And then we'll put a fish plate over the inside and the outside here. But the next thing is going to be to cut this back cross member off since I'm not going to be using that and then figure out we'll set the body back down on figure out how long these need to be okay so I got the rear cross member cut off so now we just got the small section on that basically makes it flat again all right so I'm going to Sit the body back down on it now, and um, then measure, see how much farther out I gotta come um, till I get to the back of the truck. We've got to pick up, you'll see it here in a second when we looking at it. Pick up this body mount, but that'll be on this, where the axle curve is kind of coming down. But then this is the most rear body mount right there where this little cross member piece comes over. So the frame will end about, about right there. All right. So I've got my two straight sections uh, finished here. Um, the, the remaining straight section I had left wasn't quite long enough, so I ended up having to weld another little section on. Uh, but that won't be a problem. That's going to be the very back. And then my... my um, Pitch bar is going to weld over top of that, so that'll strengthen that bit. I've got two other pieces of uh, two by three rectangular tubing already cut that's going to slide up inside of each of these, so it's going to strengthen this whole back portion. So those will slide, and we'll show you once we get all mocked up, all the way up in, into here, and then I'll plug weld uh, those in place here on both sides. All right, this is what we got here. Basically clamp these uh, pieces in and you can kind of see where I've already got the uh, holes drilled for the plug welds. We're gonna slide a, another piece up in here just to strengthen uh, this union here. Then I'm gonna put a fish plate on the inside and the outside of, of this disjunction here. So we'll show you how that now that's going to turn out, but we've got um, we've got it tacked in. So I'm going to take these clamps off, but everything is uh, square back here. So measuring kind of from a reference point back to the corner here, and then across, we've got a square. Um, basically, put a level across the back, 
and it's level with the top of the axle bend. Um, so happy with how it's coming out. All right, to add some structure to this, basically it's gonna, I've got a couple pieces, these are 18 inches long, two inch by three inch rectangular tubing. Slide that in there uh, and then plug weld it at all these locations. So that will add a lot of strength back here. Uh, and then again, we're gonna put the fish plates on the inside and the outside there to, to strengthen that. And then in the very back here, uh, I've got a trailer, basically a trailer hitch. So I'll kind of show you how that's gonna be welded on the back. Okay, so we're all done with the rear part of the, of the frame with the, the geometry configure, reconfiguration here. Really happy with how this turned out. Um, so just to kind of recap, I basically cut it off here um, and then took about a, I don't know, it was about a six inch, five or six inch section out right there. Um, cut it again where it kind of started to come down and get straight and then extended it out from here. Um, so it's nice and square from both, both sides. Um, this joint where um, it was cut here, the most forward portion, um, I, I cut part of a Barnes fish plate and butted up against the body mount here and, and burned all that in. Um, I've got another fish plate that's gonna go on the inside so you can see the joint right there. Um, so I've got another, another fish plate that's ultimately gonna go in here. Um, but I've gotta take this section out I want to take this section out so I can get access to welding the very top of that fish plate. Um, so that's good and strong. Um, and if you can see in the frame horns here, um, I've slid a 18 inch piece of two by three inch square tubing all the way in. And so that was plug welded on each side of these joints um, to give that extra strength. So you can kind of see the, the plug welds here uh, as well. And all the way at the back, it's plug welded. Um, and then I got a, uh, I basically picked up an old TJ um, hitch kind of receiver bar that was originally designed to kind of bolt on. And so I just cleaned it up here, fit it on here at the same dimensions across the back. Um, and so I just basically welded this on. Um, so that should be a great, uh, very, very strong place for not only my hitch, I'm probably gonna have, I think I'm gonna have my spare tire carriers, carrier is gonna be hitch mounted as well as my winch. Uh, ultimately, I'm going to have my winch and have Anderson connectors back here um, to where I can have my winch uh, in the back or in the front. Uh, I'm going to put a I'm going to put a receiver tube in the front as well. So if I need to, you know, winch uh, in reverse, then I can I can move it back here uh, and winch myself <laughs> out of some trouble if I get into some trouble. Um, and then I'll put some uh, recovery shackles back here, just kind of weld a, a tab on here to put a couple recovery shackles um, in the back. So next step is gonna be kind of sorting out the tank. This, I'm gonna probably take this section out. I gotta preserve these shock mounts for the top here. Um, but I'm gonna, I'm probably gonna just take this kind of rusty piece of nasty metal out of here uh, and then probably weld a piece of two by three uh, rectangular tubing across there that'll that'll serve as kind of the place for my tank straps to mount and then back here somewhere I'll have to weld another bar depending on what what tank I end up putting in here I, I still want to put a um, larger capacity fuel tank in there if I can so that's going to be the next Next step for the build, uh, I've been looking at some tanks. Um, obviously, it needs to be a tank that I can I can orient where you know it fills from the uh, 
feels from the passenger side. Uh, but we'll get that we'll get that sorted out. Um, all right, so that's the the rear frame section reconfiguration video. That's going to do it for this episode. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next episode.